Uh, our next guest, I think you guys are probably familiar with him, you see him around the building a lot. Um, can I invite out Comrade Kitteringham? Jimbo? Can I call you Jimbo? You can call me whatever you want. Excellent. Thanks for having me. me. Oh, any time. Any and every time. Now, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world, so I'm going to cut right to it. A lot of political unrest. Yet you still go with Comrade. Before I, sh I address that, I kind of need to know, are, are we in the trust tree? Like, can, I, can I trust you? Can I trust the people up here? You can trust me. They tweet. I'm just saying. I'm not responsible for that. Okay, well I guess I can explain the Comrade Kitteringham story a little bit. Uh, Please. It's, it's a bit of a long, legendary, and complex story, but much like Mr. Wilson's height, I'm going to keep it short. Great. Uh, <laughs> so since we are on the trust tree, I think I, I should share that, that I have a, 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 some relation to a, a, a Russian from about 100 years ago. Uh, and actually, uh, if you take Kitteringham in Latin spelled backwards, it actually spells Rasputin. That's it! Are you guys familiar with Rasputin? Ra, Ra, Rasputin, the song? Yes! Okay. So, so he's actually a relative of mine, but it's a bit of a, a dark history, right? Yeah. In fact, a lot of people assume, uh, you know, I, I'm bald, by, you know, that I shave or something oh, like that. Choice, so, but, but in fact, it's actually my uncanny resemblance to Rasputin. He had the mangy beard, the long, greasy hair, the comb down the middle. So in fact, all I do, right, is, is I just shave mine to cover that up completely, right? And smart. Sort of throw, off, throw off the people that might be on It's smart as well. Yes. Now, you've been at this school a long time. I understand you actually were a student at this school. I would imagine in all those years, you've probably seen a lot of things change, but also a lot of things stay the same. What kind of outlook do you have on the world here? Yeah, before I address that, to be honest, uh, we're still in the trust tree, right? Uh, absolutely. I'm a bit of a foot sweater right now, and I'm a little bit nervous, so is it okay if I take off the shoes? Is that, is that okay? Um, there, there's a great girl that just fainted, oh. so I <laughs> oh, Just to keep them there, thank you. Um, <laughs> Hello. Uh, <laughs> just, just give him a little bit. You okay? So, so back to back to the question, right? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of things have changed over the years, right? When I first was in the school, first as a student, then as a teacher, uh, there was a portable bill up by the rec center there. There was 20 portables. I actually had Mr. Nogels as my math teacher out there. Uh, so I think that's uh, certainly been changed. We've gone from tutorial Wednesdays into flex. Uh, but a lot has also uh, changed, or sorry, actually stayed the same. And I think for me, one of the big things that have stayed the same over the years is in fact that uh, it occurs in this gym, and it's the, the tears of joy and laughter this time of year. And, uh, <laughs> whoa, the tears, the tears of joy and laughter uh, as uh, Mr. Bergen and the other PE teachers will come down for floor ball, and uh, the grade, the sound of the thud when the first grade eight boy gets hit right in the neck. Oh. Right, and then the smile on the student's face. Yeah, I love that sound. Yeah, it's yeah. a great sound. Uh, you know, I also think that something that stayed the same over the years is just the sheer size and girth of Mr. Bergen's calf muscles. They're just oh. Oh. Yeah, definitely true. And I guess one last thing I think stays the same is every year that I've been a teacher here, a, a naive student comes up to me and says, you know, Mr. Kennedy, I'm here kind of in charge of Wally the mascot. Can I go into Wally for a magical experience? And I say yes, and then they get in there and they quickly realize in the first 30 seconds that it's a very odor and sweaty filled experience. Oh. I think that stays the same throughout the year. Uh, I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure I'd rather be inside your shoe than inside that suit. Yes. And that was terrible. Yeah. Like, like, not joking, that was terrible. Okay. My bad. You have a problem. My bad. Okay. <laughs> now, now, so a lot of things have changed. What about you personally? I mean, have, do you think, have you changed at all? Like, like, you know, have you gotten taller or anything like that since your high school days? Um. Not really, no. I, I, I okay. think, yeah, I, I, have, I, have, I have sick frosted tips back in yeah, the Yeah, no, I think actually, can we put that picture up? I believe this is. Is this you, uh, comrade? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually. Here, yeah, yeah. Fine looking individual yeah. there. Thank you. I don't know if those are frosted as opposed to like just completely done, though. Yeah, uh, how much is it going to cost me to get that to go away? Uh, <laughs> uh, picture. Can't be done. Once it's on the internet, it's there forever. It's like getting pee at a swimming pool. Can't do it. I'll take your word for it. That's a true story, okay? You think about that the next time you're blowing bubbles in the water. Okay. Now, the real reason you're here, Conrad, I understand you have a big announcement to talk to us about. I'm very excited about it, and uh, in fact, uh, 
I, uh, I actually brought a video of it, actually. Well, what, maybe you can tell us what the announcement is before we even get into the video. Well, to be honest, uh, you know, I, I think I'm going to be VP starting after Christmas. For real? What? Yes. Yeah. 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 That is exciting. Now, I gotta think, to become, a, to become an actual vice principal, that's gotta be a tough gig. You know, there's gotta be difficult to make that jump from teacher to vice. Yeah, it, it, it takes discipline. Uh, it takes some role gain in my case. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, and yeah, it takes some discipline, but uh, you know, it, it really came down to just a, a, some, some one or two key elements in the end, I think, that, uh, that allowed it to happen. Nice, and uh, you know, I, I was told you brought a clip. We're I did. To show us kind of the process. Yeah, I think it, I think it sort of summarizes it better than words could. Great, yeah, maybe we can have a look. Uh, no, I didn't look at it. You're respected by your students and other teachers in the building. You're involved in the school. You're an instructional leader. I really only have one big part of the interview left and one final question for you. Can you dance? I was hoping you might ask that. You used to You know what, sometimes on the Tonight Show, we just gotta roll with it, because we still got some pretty cool stuff. So we're gonna keep rolling right along here. And uh, 